So I wanted to give y'all an update what I have here in my fish room. So a brand new setup is this 75 gallon tank, which uh, I purchased about last week. And uh, the stand here was a free stand that was given to me by my dad, which I had to repaint, clean up, repaint. If y'all guys wanna see that video, I'm gonna leave a card up here at the top corner. Feel free to watch it, then come back to this video. But right now, that's the brand new addition to the room. I still have the 55 gallon here, which I have a blue peacock and a female. So hopefully we'll get them to uh, breed and uh, yield some pretty nice looking fry there. On this one, I have the frontosas, a couple of peacocks, and I, some, uh, let's check it out. Oh no, one of my, oh no, they killed one of my uh, starry night, no. Uh, I'm gonna have to get that one out. I already know which one it is. I know who killed it. It's that Jack Dempsey there. As soon as I put them in, I've noticed I had another one that died two days ago. I think he's a culprit. You can't see it because it's so, um, water's kind of dirty. And I'm gonna do a, a water change here, but I'm gonna take him out and I'm gonna put him with the, uh, with the peacocks. These are a little bit larger peacocks. As you can see, I did do a water change. So, uh, man, that's sad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get him out. And I'm gonna get him out, and I'm gonna put him with the bigger cichlids here. I think it'll they'll be safe with him there. So, let me do that. Then we're gonna get to doing the water change. So I actually lost both of my Starry Nights or Bleakeries. Lost one this morning while I found it floating and then I just found this one floating now as I was making this video. I'm gonna have to call my dad, break the news to him. Those were two that he purchased for me at a fish show in Arlington about a few weeks ago. So that's that kind of sucks but i have them here in the 55 gallon with the peacocks where they're they're bigger so i don't think they're going to get bullied here so i'm thinking of rehoming the jack dempsey here if you guys ever watched the video and you guys are in the uh east dallas area please hit me up if you guys want this one i might even trade for another really nice peacock y'all hit me up in the comments below so my method of siphoning out the water is just using a regular uh, siphon hose and a uh, 45 gallon trash can. It's a whole lot easier than using five gallon buckets and making several trips. We could just make less trips outside to dump the water. I just ordered this uh, aquarium water changer that you hook up to your faucet. But the thing is, I don't have the right connections to go on the faucet that I have. So I'm going to go look at the uh, plumbing supply store here in a little bit after the water change and see if I can't find one that fits the mowing style faucets.
right, so we got at least about, I don't know, a 70% water change here. We're gonna use two five gallon buckets from my kitchen sink faucet to refill this 75 gallon tank. Let me know in the comments how many five gallon buckets is it gonna take to fill it up. Let me know before you finish watching this video. Also, I think uh, I may clean the outside of the glass and uh, that's about it. It's really not dirty, it was a little murky, but I think uh, filling it up with clean water and of course using the uh, water conditioner, tap water conditioner should, uh, should make it look the way I want it to look, just like the 55 gallon bucket there, or the five gallon aquarium right in front of me. So let's go ahead and uh, get to filling with tap water. There's a water change. I think it looks a whole lot better, a lot clearer than it did before. Fish look happy, they don't look stressed out or anything like that. So I kept the water temperature from the faucet as close to the temperature that was already in the aquarium, which is very important. So unfortunately we lost two of my starry night. Those were my favorite fish. I'll, I may have to just do another separate tank later in the future maybe another 75 gallon where it's just nothing but my Percature tank or just my Ameri Central American tank. Um, and I'll keep these as my African cichlid tank. It was a bummer at the beginning of this recording. You know, it's, it's a lesson learned. Like I said, I'm gonna rehome that Jack Dempsey because I don't have another tank to put them in. But hopefully, uh, you know, I could trade it at one of the uh, local fish stores maybe and uh, get me another peacock or something so thank you guys for watching as always like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video